Phoebe. Thanks for coming out tonight. Let me know if the volume is alright. Might have to adjust it a little bit. So I played a little bit earlier this week. Uh, drafted on, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. Got a draft in, got a couple of my uh, things done. Hey, Crab Goddess, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Eight months in a row. My children, I have returned. We have internet. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, there we go. That was abrupt, and I was just chilling out. I'm sorry, yeah, it's, it's a very abrupt changeover, so. I probably need to turn this down even more. It's just a very loud background noise, you know? So yeah, uh, we're gonna gra get into this a little bit. I played li a little bit earlier, like I said. Um, I've got a couple of my quests done, got a little gold, decided to jump into a draft, and yeah, it was, it, it went pretty terribly. Finally got internet hooked up in the new apartment, and I have the night off, so I can tune in! Yay! Thanks for coming out, Crab Goddess. So we'll just take a look at our deck. It's pretty awful. Uh, so I started getting a little bit of red and black. Uh, the black was not good. I got a Thalid Soothsayer pretty early. Um, and then I think I got a, yeah, I got a Slime Foot, like, kind of meh. But then, like, there was just no black, no, no Thalid, no, none of that, so. So I did get a Halar a little bit later. So I tried to get some Kicker Spells. And so it's not super great, uh, but we're 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 trying it. I put the three get to journey mages in just to have th three more creatures, and they can kind of ping if I need them to. You know, there's not a lot of wizards in here, but I do have a steel leaf champion, which is kind of neat. Cast it on turn three once, uh, but yeah, it's just like a meh deck. So. We'll do another draft after this and see if we can get something a little bit better going. But before that, let's look at what we got in our pack here. So we got this from our wins. Okay, we got an uncommon wild card. That's sweet. And a Gigantosaurus. Look at the size of that lad. So we're at two wins, one loss so far with our green red not great deck what a big boy fear these is our opponent I do kind of fear these we go first shiv and fire fight with fire grow from ashes Yavamaya shepherd it seems okay we're not especially fast we can play the Yavamaya Shepherd, keep these back for kicker if we get Halar, but we can also just like play the Yavamaya Shepherd, maybe get get something else, grow from the ashes, go up to Grow is a a good card. Sap herd, thank you. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. It's not Shepherd, it's Sap Herd. Sap herd. That's funny. Because it's sapperlings. It's hurting the sapperlings. Hey, that's a Mesa unicorn. Eh, we could probably bolt that. Or shock that, rather. Don't want a life linker to, st life linker to stick around. No reason to have it. Sap herd. <laughs> Yeah, for Maya Shepherd, because that's what everybody calls it anyway. Yeah, you're not wrong. Alright, so they pass. We go to combat. Swing all out. No reason not to. Uh, we can end the turn, because we've got our five for our Grow from the Ashes next turn. We keep this there. Ooh, that is a good card. That is real good, so I think we just 
kill that on our turn, maybe? Uh, I mean, we can just fight it. We can get in there for the two, fight it anyway, because we're not going to get that, and then have that available, because that's just... That's silly. So we're going to get in there for the two, have our 1-1 one, one die. Attack and fight. I think we end the turn because we've already got the grow. Arvad the Cursed, wow. Okay. Alright. This is real playtime. We're gonna go grab the two lands though. I think it's fine to have a little bit of damage on us now. Like, we could just do the five there and swing in for one, but we're going to have enough six, seven, eight, nine, right? So we're going to have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we get one more, we can just kill that and have, you know, another seven to throw around. That's if we get another land. Uh, no blocks. We can take three there. They'll play something sweet. <laughs> How's life in the Netflix mansion? Man. Netflix mansions would be nice. That's Jimmy and Josh all the way. Alright, so we didn't get that. We do have the blocker here. And a blocker here. Though. Uh, no attacks. Yeah, it's tempting. I'm real... I'm waiting for that last one. But we've got some blockers, so I don't think it's that bad. Because we can just... We can we can take it easy for a minute. Unless they've got something crazy. Well, they're pointing at my Mammoth Spider. Yep, there it is. So, unless they swing with everything, I can block the Arvad. Death Touch Lifelink, eh? You got something else for two mana? Yep, of course they do. Oof, we got got. Couldn't I have kicked Grow and still fight last turn? I don't think so. So we got five, six, seven, eight. Man, that stinks. Uh, we'll just play this for now. And hope we can not have that die, and hope we can kick it. Hey, Elro Jr., subscribe, tier one sub, four months in a row. Thank you so much. Hmm. That's pretty good. I feel like we're going to get got again. I'm fine with taking out a couple of their little ones and having them get through. Yep, there it is. Whatever I blocked, it was just going to kill that. Well, we got a big big boy now. We're at nine. Uh-oh. Doesn't matter what I block, because they're just going to pump stuff, right? They're three, four, five, six, seven, they're just going to pump something. Nope. Hey, there it is. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to one. No, four, three. Two, one, right? Or is this a two, three? Yes, yeah, it's a two, three. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 
they have a 1-1. One, one. We're at 1. Hopefully we draw a creature. Oh, we have to draw something real good. That's not going to do it. And he's just swinging with both. And we're dead. Yeah, Kozarov seems like it'd be very interesting to play. Could we have grown and actually done both of those at the same time? I'm not sure. We've got two losses now. We're going to try one more. We're going to try five more. That's what we're going to try. If we can get there, that'd be great. So thanks for coming out tonight, everybody. We will be having our sub day this Saturday. Make sure to sign up if you are part of the Grassy Knoll channel on the Discord. We do have some 3DH going on. We're going to have some Jackbox party games, some Momir Basics. Let's try it. It's not great. The Grassy Knoll? Yes. Sure. Okay, I see what you're saying, Ro. Uh, but yeah, so... Saturday we're gonna have... Sub day should be a lot of fun. We're also looking at Ultimate Chicken Horse, I believe was the name of the game. Uh, so I would definitely suggest checking that out. Apparently, it's like a platformer where you can mess with your opponents. You can mess with the other people that are pl playing with you. So it should be pretty interesting. Hey, Com Comson. Or if I'm saying that incorrectly. 2 1. I see how it is. Uh, let's see. Just a 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 total. Nah, that's probably not worth it for the 10 life. We can just get rid of their uh, yeah let's just get rid of it that was probably really bad use of that one of these days someone's gonna either send you a full <laughs> killing super commander versus or a hat made out of grass and only a few people get the joke uh, could I ask you a business question? Sure. Com scene? Sure thing. Can't guarantee I can answer it if it is something related to Star City Games. I want to send cards to SCG. How should I package them? Okay, so if it's sending cards to sell... If you're sending cards to sell, the best way to package them is to send them in a uh, either a box or if you it depends on how many you're you're doing. Either if you send them into in like a, a long box or something like that, and that's inside of something else. About five, okay. Uh, there's snap cases that you can get if it's five. Uh, I wouldn't suggest a top loader for five. Top loader is usually good for like maybe two at or three at most. Uh, but you do... That's not good. So you get um, a little snap case and you can put them in there. If you don't have a snap case, you can get away with putting them in, in a top loader. But I would probably suggest n not if you can avoid it. Too expensive, yeah. Try and get a snap case at the, if if you possibly can. Mm. 
that's the best way to do it. Or top loaders, just get like a couple top loaders, sleeve them upside down, and then put them with the top load in the top loader, uh, and tape the tape over the whole the the open end of the top loader, and then send them in a bubble wrapped envelope if it's only a few. Oof. Okay. That's pretty good too. Yep. Yeah, two top loaders is probably going to be okay for five cards. Um, sleeved is obviously best, but make sure you get a bubble mailer envelope from the the uh, the post office. Got something. Hmm. Okay, so that blocks six. So it goes three gets through. I mean, they've got indestructible until end of turn, so... Flying Vigilance, or Flying First Strike and Lifelink is pretty gross. Is the stream lagging? Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not. I apologize if it is. I set it down to 720 and lowered my bitrate a bit. Ugh. Lifelink is gross. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Lyra is ridiculous. I feel like that Lyra is just. Yep, they go to one, and then I'm dead. Five. So they have the menace. Yep. Uh, I had Song of Fraley's out. Yeah, Resplendent is super gross. Okay, so we got our reward kicking 